dive into the colourful fun of ink blending. I'm Christy Coromandel and I help card makers enhance your skills and boost your confidence to effortlessly craft beautiful designs that you adore. Together we're going to learn how to create gorgeous gradients to add depth to your card making. So come on, let's start blending. So the tools are actually going to need to do a sponging or an ink blending technique. It's simply some ink pads and your blending brushes. And the colours I have chosen today is Pumpkin Pie and Crushed Curry because you want to select colours that are next to each other on the colour wheel so they blend nicely together. So let's get started. So you are going to just need a piece of white cardstock. Now my piece here measures three and three quarters by five and a half inches and I am simply going to mask off a portion. So I am using some masking or painter's tape and I'm just eyeballing where to put it and using my grid lines to make it nice and straight and then I want approximately one and a half inches down. And then so I don't get ink on the other pieces here, I am actually just going to add some post-it notes on the bottom here so I don't accidentally get any ink past that um, painter's tape where I've masked off my area. Okay, so first off I'm going to start with my lightest colour which happens to be crushed curry. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to start blending all off my cardstock first and then onto the cardstock. I'm going to have it nice and heavy on the outside and I'm going to have it gradually blending out into the centre there. So you want to go in circular motions to get that nice smooth blend. And once I'm happy with that I can bring in my next colour which happens to be pumpkin pie. Once again I'm starting off so I can get all that yucky splotchy um, this off so it doesn't um, so we can blend nicely on here we don't want all those dark harsh lines in with our blending here so I'm going to make it dark on the outside and we're going to gradually make it lighter as we go in blend it over that yellow hence why we like to select colors that blend nicely together which are next to each other in the color wheel I kind of want to create a nice little sun set kind of thing pattern. Okay, once you're happy with your blending, we can now remove our painter's tape and reveal what we actually have here. So I'm gently pulling back my painter's tape to reveal this nice, smooth blend. So next I'm inking up my stamp and I'm using the Dainty Delight the Dainty Delight stamp, so I'm using my big image right here along with some black ink. I'm just going to ink this up. And I'm going to stamp this on the left hand side. And then I've also got my greeting from the same stamp set. Finally, I'm going to adhere this to a piece of black cardstock. And I'm simply going to add this piece here straight to my thick white card base. I'm going to finish it off with my black matte dots. And we're done and there is our card finish. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have fun trying out this quick and easy technique to add some wow to your cards and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.